let's see, what makes a game a legacy game? In this case, the legacy aspect of the game is that each game informs a little bit about the next game, and there is an ongoing storyline and narrative that continues, uh, that branches off depending on what the players do. So the outcomes of different games will make an impact on what happens in the future. It's not static. Beyond that, there is a meta narrative, which is impacted by the overall events of the game. Uh, I am not going to say too much because the players go back and watch some of these and they want to be able to, they don't want to know about the future. But that's what makes a legacy game a legacy game. Uh, if you're playing one in physical, like so if you played Betrayal Legacy or Pandemic Legacy or any of those types of games, you tend to get to tear up things and like throw it all around or add stickers to stuff. So there's all kinds of cool things about that. So we're not tearing too much up, but we're just pulling things off of scripts, putting them on. There's been some interesting mechanic difference, mechanical differences that we've done. The first game, the big mechanical difference was the limiting of Whisper Channel. So there was very few of those. And then the evil team got to make a special, got to have special communications. The second game, we had the players separated at first, and they had to complete missions to rejoin and go through the rest of the game as you kind of normally would. And this game has yet another special mechanic and we'll kind of go over as we get to it stickers are the best part of legacy speaking of that we need to bring a couple people down because they accomplished some achievements in the prior game so we're going to go ahead and bring down a few folks and talk to them right quick hey andrew yes yeah. you accomplished an achievement in the prior game oh um, so you have the option to do something that we call bloodlining. Oh. Uh, bloodlining states that the role that you made an achievement with uh, can must be in at least one script in each act of the game. You had an achievement with the pit hag. You may decide you get one bloodline per campaign. So once you bloodline a role, that's your only bloodlining that you get to do for the game. But you may choose to make the pit hag something that will appear on at least one script in each act for the rest of the game. Yeah, let's do it. All right. You have just chosen to bloodline the pit hag. Thank you so much. Thanks. Good choice, if you ask me. <laughs> could, could come back to bite him. We'll find out. Hey, Harmony. Hello. You managed to make an achievement in the past game. And that allows you to use a certain ability that we call bloodlining. Bloodlining allows you to designate that a role must appear on at least one script in each act of the game. You managed to make an achievement with the Oracle. Oh, would you like did to? I? Yes, yes, you did. Um, would you like to bloodline the Oracle? You may only bloodline one role per campaign. So if you decide to do it with the Oracle, that will be your bloodlining. Yeah, sure, sure. That sounds interesting. Okay. Let's bloodline the oracle. Bloodline and the oracle. Thank you so much, Harmony. Appreciate it. Oh, good. Thank you. All right. That'll be an interesting challenge to build some scripts around. Yeah, that's what I, I thought to myself. You know what, Tyler? You need more interesting challenges in life. You want to... And then you started doing this whole thing with me, and you're like, maybe that was a little too much. <laughs> oh... You're the easiest part of this whole thing. What are you talking about, Capelli? All right. All right. <laughs> you just called me easy on the internet in front of 125 people. Well, I won't say why I know you're easy, okay? Okay. All right. Listen, all I know is that one night Tyler's like, hey, man, what you doing? I'm like, nothing. He's like, you want to come over and watch A Few Good Men? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. Yes. The rest is history. A Few Good Men and Chill. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Capelli loves a man in uniform. Hold on. Oh, I can't handle man in uniform. What can I tell you? Don't tell Kev Kev I said that. The mechanics in play here is going to be based off something that you may have seen before. We we have done a script by a, a friend of ours named Boar called A Day to Remember. A Day to Remember is a doomsayer script in which the town has one day to solve the puzzle of who's the demon. They get the use of this doomsayer to whittle down the candidates and make confirmation change. There is a twist in this particular game. Uh, I'll just go ahead and get it out of the way. Oh, boy. Uh, well, is... The players are in a time loop, so we're going to do this very quickly, much like that hyper catfishing game that we just ran. We're going to go through very, very quickly. Um, they will have to doomsay within 
a minute, two minutes of each other, uh, and then they'll get an execution. Um, they will not initially know that they are in a time loop, and then we will say the game is over and go to sleep. We'll wake them up. Players that have the use of one-time abilities will get the use of that one-time ability again. We can shift certain things around at night. We can tell people different information than they would have gotten because it's a whole new first night. It's first night every night. And then we have to be mindful of some of the doomsayer chains we create because that creates trust all along the way. And there is a trigger that will then allow the time loop to stop. Uh, and then that will be the last day. The day the time loop ends is the day that decides who wins or who loses. We have some interesting things here because the leech uh, in their role can change who their host is from day to day or from loop to loop because it's not from day to day. One of the other rules of this particular scenario is that if you are mad about there having ever been a previous day or night, you may be executed, and that will end that particular loop. So some information roles or some uh, roles might get information over the course of days. If they say, I got this on day one and this on day two, um, they can be executed, and that will end that particular loop, and then we'll have to reset. That buys evil some time because once the trigger happens, um, good is going to have to rely on the information that they have at that point in time. Uh, so our evil team is Laurent, Madeline, Kohav, Duke is obviously wedged between the two of them as the cult leader, so he is going to be evil. And Fran, your bounty hunter, is evil. Fran can be shown evil players, and with the poppy grower, that's helpful. So doomsayer and poppy grower, I think, is an interesting mix because they will the evil team will want to doomsay just to learn who their team is. Um, the leech has some interesting connotations because they cannot die by the doomsayer. Uh, but what you can do, and what we have the tinker here for, is we can simulate a host dying and then the tinker and the leech dying along with it. So if say, you know, Kev Kev is doomsaid and dies and then Alejo dies as well, that simulates the look of the uh, the leech going under. The mastermind is an interesting one with the leech because in reality, if a mastermind's in play, if the host dies, the leech survives and continues on. So they would then have to execute the leech. So that is the premise that we're working on, time loop shenanigans. We got somebody in chat telling me that if the uh, host is doomsaid, that the mastermind ability would not impact the leech. Because I believe that is quite possibly the case, but let me double check. Uh, the jinx is, if the mastermind is alive and the leech's host dies by execution, Okay. The Legion lives but loses their ability. So that sounds like a correct statement from that person in the chat. All right. However, if you had designed the game around it the other way, stick with what you were ruling it and just make sure that if anyone asks, you're consistent. I could also make the mastermind a Scarlet Woman and feel okay about life. But uh, cool. up to you. <laughs> we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it from there. All right. So we're going to go with if the host dies by Doom saying that kills the leech uh yeah so we'll go to we'll change kohav into scarlet woman all right scarlet cool. woman where are you that just means future time loops just so that chat knows i have no idea how this game is supposed to end so uh, I'm kind of in the ride just as much as you all are. I wasn't able to sit around and uh, watch the playtest game. And while Tyler did explain it to me, my feeble brain breaks <laughs> to well thought out time travel stuff. And while I'm sure just like anything, this time travel story has plot holes in it, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I, I read what Tyler said and I'm like, that I don't understand enough to know that this is going to be a blast. So if you're ready, let's go up and explain the game to everyone. Let's go. Welcome to Act 1, Episode 3 of Blood on the Clock Tower, The Legacy of Ravenswood Bluff. Uh, the topic of how to dispose of a demonic force given physical form caused great consternation in the camp. A field autopsy of some of the bodies revealed maggots feasting on twisted organs and black ichor in place of blood. Burial seemed impractical as there was no sanctified ground to speak of, and the locals cautioned against cremation for fear of haunted smoke suggesting instead to throw the bodies into a pit on the far side of a swamp. 
This felt like a trap to some of your number, so it was decided that the bodies were to be burned during a fiery sermon by the chaplain. But it must be said that while a preacher may cow a wicked man, they have no sway over a lord of hell. It was hoped that the horrors would end once and for all, but there wasn't even a brief respite. One of the survivors of the initial attack of the demon disappeared, his body replaced in his bedroll by a sodden log shaped like a gnarled old woman clutching her knees. The local guys believed that the hags who spoke curses as their native tongue had been perverted by this place. The sentries had left their posts. It was decided originally that the, those souls killed by the creature should be preserved to be buried on the bluff in honor of their bravery and commitment to the mission. That was until a two-day dead corporal was caught milling around the cook's tent groaning about being famished. While there was some gallows comedy in Lieutenant earnestly ordering his former charge to lie back down and resume her existence beyond the mortal coil, it became clear that bodies turned shambling hungry dead was a liability for the group, and they were buried with stone cairns erected on top of them. During the burial, the grave digger's shovel hit a wooden casket, the ex exhumation of which revealed a grinning skeleton clutching a piece of vellum. Without the chronicler, good people of the letters were hard to find, but the form and script on the scroll looked remarkably similar to the traveler's tale the chronicler had been deciphering in his tent. As the expedition plotted its course to the bluff, the camp had found itself splintering into factions, with some believing that they had all been damned for their sins, and the Ravenswood was at best a purgatory, an opportunity to repent, while others believed that the god in Anolni didn't live here, and that they needed to honor the god that dwelled in the Ravenswood by the sea, while some said whether it be god or devil that attacked their comrades, they had every intention of killing the bastard. The locals, for their part, had made themselves scarce when it was decided the bodies would be burned, hearing dark tidings from the men. The squabbles in the camp turned to brawls, and order could only be maintained by daily executions as accusations of treachery kept the fire stoked. The contingent of hardy and courageous men and women who had set out so many months ago wouldn't recognize the sorry lot that had found the ruins atop Ravenswood Bluff. Initially, they didn't even realize they had found anything at all, but it became clear that the stones here were in long rectangles, foundations devoured by the Thecken forest being all that was left behind of their people, the Loof. That was until they found the clock tower. It was thought to be a towering tree, but exploring it further showed it for what it was. It made little sense to be there. The locals lived in burrows and hovels, and the loof had moved north in the inlands a hundred years ago. The clock hands didn't move, and what proper engineers remained in the company couldn't agree on what to make of the mechanisms and how to make them operate again, or even if they should. In its presence and in the place, time seemed to stand still, and then the minute hand moved. Metal scraped on metal as the clock hands began their orbit about the central axis of the face, the regular pattern of kathunks with a bell toll on the hour, caging the day in its temporal prison. Forget the sun or the moon. This machine ruled here. On the dawn following the clock tower's return to life, above a fruit-bearing apricot tree, one of the engineers was found impaled on the hour hand, and in his blood was written, From his body was born doom. Please, everyone, go to sleep. So we're going to begin with our minions and demons. They will know bluffs, but they will not know each other. So let's go visit Laurent. Hey, Laurent. Hello. I would like it if you would pick a player. What was that? A player. No. I don't think I have my character yet. You oh, I have, have my baby. character. Oh, God. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Kohav. You're gonna pick. That might be a yeah. I'm gonna go for Kohav. I know. You're gonna pick Kohav. Thank you so much. I have something valuable to tell you. You lured the members of this expeditionary force into a time loop, something controlled by the machine. You are awaiting someone that you know to be called the Archon, a spirit from the past, to break this time loop. You want to try to remain hidden until that time loop is broken. Thank you. Uh, can I know what are the bluffs? Your bluffs are fortune teller, preacher, or general. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. Madeline. Uh, yeah. Um, your bluffs are... You ready? Yeah. Okay. Your bluffs are Snake Charmer, mm -hmm. General, 
Mm -hmm. And Recluse. Okay. Thank you very much. Would you like to pick a player and a role? So I am unaware of my evil team. This is very interesting. Um, I would like to choose Harmony to be mad as the cult leader. You choose Harmony to be mad as the cult leader. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Harmony. Hello. The Saranovis has chosen you to be mad about being the cult leader. Oh, okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Kohav. Hi. So, uh, we want to give you some bluffs. Are you ready? Oh, I love bluffs. All right. Cool, cool. Your bluffs are fortune teller. Chef or pacifist? All right. I, I'm going to guess that I don't learn my evil team. I sure ain't telling you. Oh, are you stream sniping? No, I'm a scarlet woman and I got bluffs. Feels like a poppy grower game to me. Well, I'm not the storyteller, so you can meta all you want. Those, it's just, you know, you put in a Your evil woman. team. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Capelli cut out. That was... I, he, no, I just stopped talking. Capelli is responsible <laughs> for telling everybody team, the evil team, so... That's oh, right. Your evil team... Is, uh, is gonna win. That's what my evil team is. That's what your evil team is gonna do. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, Wildstar. You are shown the savant. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Yep. Thank you so much. Hey, Fran. Hello. You are evil. Oh, love it. We show you Kohav. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks. All right. Uh, just do great. Yep. Mm -hmm. Duke, oh boy. we have some news for you. You have turned evil. Oh, let us go. Okay. On the track here, boys. Thank you so much. All right. We dragged each other. That's cute. Oh. As long as we're not dragging each other down, that's all that matters. Right? We did technically go one cottage down. We did. Uh, so that's that's all the information we have to give out tonight or do with. What's interesting about this is, so in this setup, I'm just going to prepare the chat for this. Some of the roles are much more powerful in this particular setup. They'll realize that as they go along, but they are much more powerful than they would be normally. So the fisherman advice I'm going to give is a little tempered because they will get multiple days of or multiple loops of fisherman advice. It's complicated because they can't say, I got this fisherman advice on these days, right? So people are going to have to remember. We're also going to try to make short doomsayer chains, so try to keep it within two to three for the most part. Laurent's in a tough position on this first go around because he inadvertently poisoned his minion, which happens with a poppy grower. So way to go, poppy grower. All right. And it's a scarlet woman to boot. So let's just, you know, clear things up because I've seen a couple of questions in chat. Okay. So the loop ends when someone's executed, whether that's through votes or whether that's through um, someone breaking badness about there being previous days. Yes. Right. Or Sarah Nova's madness. Mm -hmm. We will tell them about their mad, their global madness when the loop the, after the first loop ends right now they have no idea right yes mm -hmm. are we going to give them like a 20 minute timer yeah we were going real rapid fire so yeah if you want to keep time on that like the day is basically 20 minutes yeah i'll, I'll pick somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes okay sounds right. good we I'm need, we need, a, we need a doomsay we need a nomination or we need a call for a cult within certain time periods or it's dunsville all right you leave that part of the game to me all right sounds great
Camp, you have awoken to one of your own number, impaled on the hand of a mysterious clock tower on the top of what's called Ravenswood Bluff. You have one day to solve this crime and the ability oh. to doomsay on each other. Okay. One day game. Oh. Never played the oh. Doomsayer script. Good lord. By the way, town, you have 17 minutes. Se oh. seven, that's, 17. That's a lot seven. of minutes. Wait, 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 wait. Really? Until question. what? Until the game ends. Until the game ends. Oh, we get game the, we get the shit. There now, you go. Or... Not end of day, end of game. Okay, All who right. wants to whisper? Uh, uh, we, can we, talk we can talk, Ohad, if you people kill each other, uh, oh. storytellers okay. can't talk to you. Uh, okay, Tavish. Let's go. Uh, sure. The I don't think I can win this. The rot. Here. Um, <laughs> oh. Uh, if, did you know it still is like a distillery? Is oh, like is that what moonshine. still means? Yeah, it's like no. where you make moonshine, dude. Oh. Let's get, let's get crunk. And let's just totally trust each other because we're, yeah. we're enjoying drinks. Yeah, let's do it. What are you, buddy? Uh, I am the fisherman. Okay, you're the fisherman. Yeah. Okay. Which means that I have to I have to talk to Tyler and Grimmins today to figure out. On Travis and Fran. Ooh, spicy, spicy, spicy. Okay. So if you. It's only one day long. Uh, okay. Okay, Travis. What the what the f, Travis? You said we're gonna trust each other. Am I still? Yeah, yeah, and I lied to you immediately. I know. I know. It's yeah. Messed up. What the f, Travis? Why would you? Okay. I'm the fisherman. You actually are. No. You no, cold call my role. Poisoning me with your nodashi. Um. You're kind of breaking um, up. So am I? Yeah. Didn't um, say things. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, I'll. Oh, I'll you're better. Fix that. Am I better? Okay, wait. I'm gonna. Okay, that should be better. Hey, can I get my smart info? Sure, let's do it. Boom, 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 boom. Your savant info is exactly two players are drunk or poisoned, or exactly two players, two townsfolk are evil. Just to repeat this back to you exactly two players are drunk or poisoned, or exactly two townsfolk are evil. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. How how can we get two evil townsfolk in this? Uh, Duke and Duke and Fran. Oh, true. So, all right, we gotta go to Wildstar. Hey, hey. Okay. Oh no, I hate everything. All right. What's what do you hate? Tell me what's going on. Mostly Savant <laughs> as a character. All right. Well, good luck. Beep, 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 beep. Um, but anyway, I would rather you get your info than me take yeah. up all your time. Okay, let me get my info. Right, Speaking of info, Tyler. Tyler, hi. Hey, Kev, Kev. Um, I, I walk in, t I, 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 I go on my knees and pray to the gods for some info as I wave fish around. Your advice is to remember what happened today. Oh, what? What? Thank you so much. No, I didn't write down what you said earlier. <laughs> what, what, what did you say? What was the info? I missed it. I said to remember what happens today. Oh, that's great advice. Mm-hmm. It's great advice. <sighs> uh, wait, is it uh, happens? I'm, I'm, I'm in happen. Kev Kev still, and I can't say. I just get the heebie-jeebies. I got to leave. Um, wait, is it remember what happened or happens? Remember what happens with an S today. Oh. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I mean, our days run short. It is very short. Uh, the gods will take us all. Just look yeah. at this place. Um, since we only have one day, does it matter if we like, like just hard claim to each other, right? I agree. I think my time is short in this world anyway, regardless yeah. of... I'm, I'm... Hello. Well, real quick, I, real quick, my... I gotta ask Tyler something real quick, guys. Oh. Oh. Do the players know this is a one-day game? They currently believe it's a one-day game. 
Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, just bluffing thing. I just realized as the leech, I can bluff basically anything and cause chaos. I won't die unless I'm drunk, which I can't be. Unless there is something weird. That's all. Thank you. Thanks, Laurent. Evo doesn't have bluffs, but then if it's just right, snitch copy right. drawer, then, then it doesn't work. Okay. Do you want to share your fish boat? Yeah, have fun with this one. To remember what ha my my fisherman info is to remember what happens today. <laughs> what? I know. Travis or Fran is a demon. If I'm the preacher, I preach Bejbo. If I'm the slayer, I ah. Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna head on out and solve this game. Yeah, good luck with that. I'm trying. <laughs> We're gonna solve this game. It's gonna yeah. kick ass. Tyler, can you stay here so I can All right, ask my fisherman info? Indeed. Cool. You just pull a normal fish out of the river and uh, it garbles things at you and you throw it back. Well, usually my fish are completely silent when I fish, so that is a rare occurrence. Um, yeah, so. You, are you a strong real life fisherman? Not really. I've fished like maybe a couple times. Okay. It's kind of boring. Um, Fran added to me as evil bounty hunter. Um, I gave him chef as a bluff. He's going to claim high chef number. I, I don't know if chat was there for that, but yeah, there, that, there you go. Thank you so much. Recluse. Pacifist. Uh, general or recluse. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Do you have any... The person who reads Demon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, that sucks. We're going to have to start killing each other soon with um to get any information. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm probably willing to hit the switch. I'm going to try to chat with Kohav real quick for a reason. Um, wait for... Oh, you're not that role you said that you are? Kev, chat. What is know, the reason for not just hard claiming? Hey. Uh, yeah, I lied. You're not the pacifist? I'm the chef with a five. What the f- <laughs> Yep. Wait, uh, really? Yep. Okay, 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 wait. That's why I think, um... It is a Legion game then, right? Well, no, because no, Savon, uh, well, so Savon Info said I could be drunk. The reason I brought up the question of Legion is because I want to see how you'd react. Oh, okay. Uh, of note, Travis uh, claimed Poppy Grower to me. So... Okay. Well, first he claimed Fisherman to me, and then I like was like, no, <laughs> actually F you, though. So then he's claimed... Okay. Yeah. If there's any cult leaders or slayers, you probably want to uh, shoot Tyler. soon, because I am, I am calling... Can I grab a chat with you? I'm, sure, Benjamin. I am doom saying very soon. I... Hello, Tyler. Hey. Uh, what is my character? Oh, you're not seated. Okay, uh, you are the slayer. Oh, cool. You didn't know what your All character right, was this whole time? Uh, nope. All right, but now you, I do. How are you going to vote? Uh, I'm I'm hoping to get it work working before it's time to vote. Uh, okay. It's just challenging. It's crashing left and right. But that's that's not your problem. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Tyler. Appreciate it. I I've not chatted with it? much people. I don't know. I'm sad. I'm not chatting. It's sad. With... Oh shit! We only have um maths. Eight minutes left. Tyler. Oh, wait. Kelly. Yeah. Harmony, can we chat? Oh. Okay, Alejo chat. has Doomsay. Alejo has Doomsay, and Kev Kev has died. Oh. As well he should. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Madeline, you're not the recluse, aren't you? Um, I am not, necessarily. Okay, I'm gonna talk with you. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go to Kev Kev's, okay? Why are people whispering? So strange. Um, the storytellers, uh, no, I'm not going to mention the storytellers, but uh, I heard that there might be a cult leader near, cult leader near me. 
Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm more willing to trust that uh, if and vote on those. Uh, yes, cult win. Uh, okay. I don't know if we're going to have the info to Chin Teller. Did you I get a yes was... thing on me? No, not on you. Okay, thank God. <laughs> So, did, did you get a no ping on me? No, no, I, I have a yes ping on someone, but I was wondering if you were to recluse. Okay, okay, okay. Nah. You seem I'm so evil right now. Oh my I god. I'm the general who got a neutral. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, this Madeline, thing. you're the... You're not the goddamn general. You're just... Does anyone have issue with me doom saying? Big because I think that is info and... Yeah, or... I trust you. I'm good with it. By the way, Travis, Wait, uh, why do you trust Kev Browser? gave me a hot claim. Well, gave me uh, my card claim? Of course he did. would like to start a cult if that's possible. Oh, wait, hang on. I'll start it in a minute. Never mind. I want to start my um, cult as well. My Kev, cult I think we should chat again. If you're calling it, you're calling it. Sure, Who's fine. calling it for a cult? Harmony is calling to start a cult. Yep. I'm calling to start a cult. Tell us a little bit about why. Um, because this would be, I think this would be the best made. I am a good cult leader. I think this is our best chance to win the game. So let's go. You're doing this very early. Voting begins on the cult. It's going to start with Koha. I, I think it's a good idea. I have reason to trust Wait, this. I, I have reason to trust this. It's a cult Travis, leader. Why do you have reason to trust this? Uh, because I didn't oh reset my, my timer. <laughs> no, no, keep it. It's better. I, I am not. Your voting. time is slowly oh, leaving away. <laughs> oh, oh my god, god. you're killing me. <laughs> oh I'm curious if this is because I've heard of another cult leader hard claim. So this no, is no, we can't go to sleep. We can't go to sleep. If we've heard of another cult leader hard claim, there's nothing wrong with voting on this cult, right? Yeah, which is why I'm voting yeah. on it. I don't know. I haven't talked to Kohaven or Andrew, and Kohav is always evil. No, I'm not. <laughs> a, cult, a cult has not formed. Oh. Okay, so um, Duke or um, Laurent is good, okay. Duke will also start a cult. Oh, uh, Duke my is called cult for is the, a cult. My cult is the cult of trucks, guns, and beer. It's uh, going to be a match. If you vote on this, timer. you get as much as you want. Um, and we'll all go to uh having together as a family voting's gonna start with madeline vote this up i don't trust gold um I by the way i gold. think that there wait let me look at the script to make sure that oh I'm andrew not what else voting. do you want okay. i will promise everything you want in life no okay no okay. andrew at least okay. a cult is not formed uh Aww. friend would like to start a cult i just wanted to start a cult very quickly um yeah, uh, I'm not. I'm uh, using reverse psychology. I want exactly one person to not vote on this, um, but I think everyone else should because I'm not the cult leader, and this won't end the game. Smile. All right, voting will start with Kev. Kev. This is a good way to test if friend is drunk. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! <laughs> all right. Wow. Okay, I guess we're not getting in. Okay, let, let's do, let's do all our doomsdays. A cult has not formed. Do you want to like all claim or okay? Wait, they I said that forty minutes in the me game. I think it's not a legion game before I didn't say. I think um, okay, I can convince. You. I'm the tanker. And Alejo just you not... said me. I'm good. There's more info why it's not a legion game. Okay, so it's definitely not a legion game. Yeah, <laughs> well, I can't I've... explain <laughs> why though. I'm not the thinking it's a legion game. The storyteller says we need nominations or executions in a minute. Don't think it's legion. Sorry, I did um, say is in a minute, so we need to do one of. Uh, I explain do... Legion. So if we have a hard claim of preacher, minutes. then either it's not Legion or that preacher claim is Legion. Also, hi everyone, I'm the chef of the five. Um, <laughs> um yeah. oh, Harmony, oh, there, Harmony yes. before you out what you're about to out, think about why I would have done what I did. Um I have no clue because what you did makes no sense to me. Two and a half minutes. How can okay, we I'll explain what it is? It's a zombie game, and oh, I'm the savant. savant. I am the savant. Wildstar is also claiming savant. I'm savant. My savant information is exactly two players are drunk or poisoned, or exactly two townsfolk are evil. So the only way for each of those, there's only one way both of those things could happen. Uh, so I, 
I'm trying to figure out which of those two are true. So I go to Harmony and say, I'm going to take a punt on you. I'm the evil savant. You must be the evil cult leader. And Harmony claimed to be good to me. So that's the, that's the exchange we had. Harmony has reason to be suspicious of me because I claim to be an evil savant. But those the, that's the information I have. Uh, Travis, it's Doom, sir. Travis Doom says, and uh, boop, 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 boop. Bejbo dies. Hey, Bejbo. Rip. Two players drunk or poisoned or two townsfolk? We have, we have, we're running out of time. You either need a doomsay or... One and a half minutes remain. How many townsfolk? Harmony doomsays and Andrew dies. Oh, okay, great. Thanks, Andrew. Can we talk? Sure. Do I get a savant ability from this? Yes. Sorry. Just looking at something real quick. Oh, good. People want to doomsay. Yeah, sorry. Either the evil team does not know who they are, to each other are, or... Um, a character has misregistered to a doomsday today. Good one to do. Good Who one to this is already doomsday. I've done it. Okay. Laurent's a doomsday. Laurent's in a double claim. Fran, I am. 30 seconds. Oh my god. Who's that doomsday? Wildstar Wild doomsays. Wildstar doomsays? Wildstar doomsays and... Wildstar dies. Fran Doom says and Madeline dies. Okay. Uh, I'll Doom say. Coav Doom says and Duke dies. Oh. Look. Fuck. We don't have enough ties. So Ten. Should we? Nine. Wait, I'm Doom say. Oh, 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 uh, Laurent uh, Doom say. Laurent Doom says and Fran dies. Okay. Uh, okay, how many, how many nominates Alejo? Harmony nominates Alejo. Tell us why. Um, We should put someone on the block because we literally have no more time. So this is... <laughs> I don't know. Alejo, no, really? Can I win Travis Doomsaid? Uh, I think that you can execute me if you like. I think we're all doomed anyway. Uh, I'm the tinker though, so <laughs> not much is going to come from it. Alejo is one of the outsiders... And he did, yeah. and I died. I'm the fisherman. Did yeah, what was your nice? info? Kevka, what was your info? Yeah, y'all ready for Look, this? I run out to see what happened. To yeah. remember what happens today is my info. Remember what <laughs> happens today? My advice oh, is to remember what happens today. today. Three, two, It's not one. Alejo, though. Starting it's not Alejo. Alejo. Laurent prevented the cult from forming. Kohav didn't turn home Harmony evil. This makes sense. Also, Travis's claim works with... Uh, who, who died when Travis doomsayed? Four is enough. Alejo. Uh, 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 what were you doing? All right. Bejbo. Bejbo, I need to speak to all of the dead players in the cave's mouth, please. Oh. What up, ghosties? Hi. Rude. Dead. There is enough Hi. dead players to decide whether or not you want to invoke the Traveler. I'm going to go, you can talk about it very briefly oh, beforehand, whether or not you want to invoke the Traveler. Yeah. And then so briefly, really, you have 30 seconds. Out of the two. It's on it's, the JSON. And then we're going to go yes get, and no. It's, yeah. It's for the content. In Guys, we have a button. We have to press the button. You well, we the button. I'm just going to go down the list and ask you yes or no. You ready? Andrew. Yes. Bejbo. Hell yes. Duke. Yes. Fran. Yeah. Kev Kev. In vote. Madeline. Yes. Wildstar. Yeah. Okay. That piece of vellum that was clutched in a corpse's hand, once you are dead and able to look at it, your eyes can now perceive their language. It says... 
We didn't know that we walked the road of damnation when we set out upon it. As pilgrims, we were all drawn to find the garden, the place where God had nursed humanity in its infancy, until, like all children, we turned our back on our elders' benign wisdom to show ourselves greater than our forebearers. But that's not to say that a great deal of the journey we didn't know where we were going. In fact, the knowledge of our destination laid out in omens and our shared understanding of each other made us all the hungrier for it. We were called to pandemonium, the cavernous halls where all spirits held court. From them had come the wisdom of the ancients, music, crafts, architecture, and the hermetic arts, and we would find it. The first inkling I had of this came from Punch in his tattered harlequin. The man was of little use, being neither pontiff nor craftsman, but his cruel japes revealed us and laid us bare. And then we laughed at who we had been and what we had believed. It wasn't until the clown grew sad that we had no more use for him. Here lies Punchinello, preceded by his wife, Joan. I'm trying to remember who the first player to die in this game was. It, it was me! me. It, it was me! Kev, 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 Kev you Kev are again. the deviant. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, am I alive? Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> What is happening? Oh no! <laughs> Leo it's okay, guys. Kev Kev can't be the demon. We it doesn't matter. <laughs> I do well, what matter. If we're having a bull. You matter. You don't matter about demon things. Okay. Wait. So he cannot that? die by exile. So someone can still doomsay Kev Kev. He hasn't made me laugh yet. <laughs> uh, Kev hasn't been funny yet. He hasn't. So All right. Oh. Kev Kev, dance for me. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, Do we have any other nominations <laughs> today? <laughs> I'm kind of voting Kevin Kev as Jeremy Exile, just from that sound alone. Yeah. Oh my god. At that point, you just, start bringing, you just start singing I like just my milkshake. Again. Alejo is on the block. Do we have any other nominations uh, Someone today? nominated. Yes. I think Alejo, Alejo nominated. nominated. I'm sorry, I can't hear everybody talk at the same time. Alejo, you've nominated? Who have you nominated? Travis. Alejo has nominated Travis. Tell us why. Uh, so apparently there's a fortune teller, yes. Uh, I'm an outsider. I don't know if there are any other claims of outsiders, but uh, if so, uh, if not, then I'm pretty well confirmed. Travis, what's your defense? Uh, hi, everybody. I'm your poppy grower. Um, based on the way that things have gone, I believe my power is working, so I don't think I'm the leech host. Um, I think we have a leech based on the savant info. I want to hear the second savant info because I think we have a pixie, um, but I think we should go for the person who we think is the host. Uh, uh, can you, I can you can try to go for me if you want. I I'm okay with it because I could be the host still. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Tyler, before you run the vote, can I just check that every that no one has spent dead votes? Uh, um, not to my knowledge. Andrew did. Uh, we had two and dead votes. Madeline, that. Right? I voted Andrew on and Madeline. Madeline. Yeah. Andrew and Madeline Andrew. voted on Alejo. Okay, sorry about that. Good call, Alejo. How many yeah, votes? Just, just checking How that wasn't a special. Thanks, Wellstar. How many votes? Everyone uh, alive likes this. Oh, God. The voting will commence with Fran. How yes, many? How many four are on the I, I, I don't beat, like five this. To tie. I don't think this is the we should. That's yeah, high. Yeah. Yeah. No, if you look at this pixie info, it implies that Travis is here. I don't want to tie, though. Five is enough. <laughs> Travis is on the block. Any other nominations uh, today? The pixie seems to indicate I'm working. Um, I think Wait, that no, I, it makes I, more I, sense that someone misregistered. Duke used his ghost vote. Yep. That somebody I'm misregistered. Do we have a, we're ending the game in 10. Nine. Alejo calls for the exile of Kev Kev. Six. Five. Alejo is calling okay. for the exile of Kev Kev. Kev Kev makes me laugh on a regular basis. He is immune to exile today. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh my god. Uh, um, keep the count going, Capelli. Five. Okay, four. Travis is going to nominate Kohav. Like Travis, nom Travis is nominated Kohav. Please tell us why. Uh, I believe that Kohav is telling the truth, and I believe that she's the fortune teller, but I think that Laurent is actually the leash, and uh, Kohav may be the host. Um, it's also possible that either me or Fran was just her red herring. That is completely legit, but it could be our only indication of poison happening. Um, I think that Harmony is telling the truth, but I think that Duke was good, and that's why the cult leader didn't go through. So I don't really have much info to go on. I'm just going for whoever I think is probably poisoned by the leech. Kohav, what's your defense? Uh, I have no way of knowing if I'm the leech host. Uh, I don't know if Travis is a leech host or evil. Um, I uh, I don't know which demon it is, so I'm more likely good and not the host, so I'd rather not die, and I'd rather kill someone who could just be the demon. Voting will start with Duke. It'll take five to tie, six to beat. 
I was on Kohav, but Wait, you can said I doomsay? I'm the loot. I can doomsay, right? Technically, we have five players already doomsayed. Alive. I've never doomsayed. Oh, I died. Travis I killed him. That was the first doomsay. Kev Kev sells a doomsay. Yep. yep. Oh, first. can I... Would people mind if I can't like doomsay? Can I do it? I invoke the lightning of the gods. Smack the button. Kev Kev doomsays and Harmony dies. Harmony Gucci. Nice. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. Uh, nice. Uh, well, we were executing Harmony that. anyways. Does two uh, we have nominate Laurent? Well, I, I won't three. nominate myself. Two. I won't nominate One. myself. I nominate Laurent. Ah, oh, come on. Kev Kev <laughs> nominates Laurent. This will be the final nomination. Yeah, I don't know. A dude talked to me in a whisper and he said that Laurent's probably evil because he did a two for two claim fisherman or fortune teller. I'm the fisherman. And apparently there's a double claim on Fortune Teller. I don't know where it is. Half of my Grimoire is still blank. But uh, Laurent also didn't want to uh, doomsday until very, very late. So, I, I don't know. Laurent, what's your defense? I, I am the snake charmer I chose, Kohav. I was so interested into being evil and everything until I realized that it was a one-night thing. Um, yeah, pretty much. You can kill me if you want. I think I'm a better kill than Travis. Right, voting will start with Alejo. They'll take five to tie, six to beat. Um, so there were statements that either just the host because I don't game. trust Laurent. Well, um, you, you cannot trust me, but I'm saying to trust me to trust me. So I I think I'm not a little sense. Travis is I on the block. We're gonna close the day in five, four, three, Laura, two, can you one. Travis uh, I've already is say. executed. Oh, I and dies, and I can confirm that the game is over. Everyone, please go to sleep. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, why what? sleep? What? Grade A stuff. Just grade A stuff. Real quick question. Does the Traveler remain the same alignment, or can they change if they're invoked? Uh, so we haven't confirmed that in play. There's a narrative. There may be narrative indications that would allow a Traveler to change alignment from the original player's alignment. And if they did, if they did, you would probably just send them a message of letting them know, right? I would indeed. That well, was that go, has chat. been that has been meta to say, well, they haven't they wouldn't have time to tell them, but I can send people private messages and I would in that case. I'm going to assume we have our next Grim ready to go. All the players remain the same. We're gonna to have to ask them a question about what they want to use their abilities to do at night. You ready? Ready. All right, let's go to Laurent. It says Gengar. <laughs> Laurent, welcome to night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there having ever been a previous day, you may be executed. Who would you like to pick okay. as your host? Um. Oh my God, uh, I would like. Um. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, I don't know. I would like to. I would like to pick Kev Kev. You'd like to pick Kev Kev. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh no, he's not a traveler. Wait, wait. If he's not a traveler, I'd like to change. Okay. Who would you like to pick? I, I would like. I would like to pick myself. You're picking yourself as the host. I uh, yes, I'm gonna try that. As weird as it could be, I'm going to pick myself. Okay. All righty. Thank you, you so did. much. Appreciate you. <laughs> that is so a weird choice. I'm sticking with it. Bold move, Cotton. Bold move. All right. The players ask me if people are being woken up, so if they need to know if they need to continue their bluff or not. What's that now? Somebody asked me if, they're con if we need to continue bluff. Like, an evil player... Yes. We're going to visit them and tell them so. Okay. Madeline. Uh, make Harmony welcome and Dad as cult leader. I have something to tell you first. Oh. Uh, welcome to night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there ever having been a previous day or night to now, you may be executed. Uh, Harmony is made mad. Your bluffs are the same. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Kohav, welcome to night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there ever having been a previous day or night, you may be executed. Your bluffs remain the same. Um, okay. 
Okay. Thank you. Hey, Fran. Fran. Hello. Welcome to night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there being a previous day or night to now, you may be executed. We wake you up and we show you Madeline. Um, so just to clarify, if I'm mad about there being a previous day, I get executed. If you are mad about there having been a previous day to today, you may be executed. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. Oh, that's much. great. Appreciate Thanks. you. All right. Let's see. Who we got? We got to go to... We got to go to Wildstar. Hey, Wildstar. Yep. You are shown the fisherman. Welcome to night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there ever having been a previous day or night to today, you may be executed. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Vejbo. Hello. Welcome to night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there ever having been a previous day or night, you may be executed. Cool. Thanks. Appreciate you. Alejo. Welcome to night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there having been a previous day or night, you may be executed. Amazing. Thank you. Andrew. Hello. Welcome to night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there ever having been a previous day or night to now, you may be executed. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Travis. Yes, sir. Welcome to night one of a day that will die in infamy. Of course. If you are mad about there being a previous day or night, you may be executed. If I am mad about there being a previous day or night, I may be executed. Yes. Understood. Thank you so much. Kev, Kev. <clears throat> Welcome to night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there having been a previous day or night, you may be executed. Oh my god. Wait, I do have a question though. Um uh, actual question. I, I used to have Deviant, but then all of a sudden in the Cloud Tower app, uh that was removed. You were back to being the I, fisherman. I am back to being the fisherman. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean not back because you know this is the first time things. Okay. First time ever. If you say back, you're you're gone. You're cut. Okay. Oh Thank you so god. much. <laughs> Harmony. Hello. You have been made mad about being the cult leader. No, not again. Um, okay. And there is no again. This is night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there having been a previous day or night, you may be executed. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Duke. Oh, boy. I wake you up and I say that you are evil. Welcome to night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there having been a previous day or night, you may be executed. Okay. Do you I understand? But, but it doesn't... Okay. Understood. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, my brain. It hurts. It trembles. Thank you. All right. I need to take away the Doomsayer token from Alejo. Yeah, we're going to take that off. Okay. Is Fran still evil? Does Fran still see Kohoff? Fran oh, is evil Madeline and Fran sees Madeline. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give them 10 minutes this time. That sounds great. And let's go on up. Good morning, base camp. You have awakened to find that your engineer, who was investigating the clock tower, has been impaled on its clock hand right above a fig tree. In his blood, as was written, from his body was born doom. You have one day to solve who killed him and the ability to doom say to do it. Uh, Tyler, can I talk to you? Yep. We only have Hello, one. We only have um, so uh, if I was the fortune teller, um, I know I'm not allowed to be mad about there being a previous day publicly, but I need to ask you, like, if I was the fortune teller, 
uh, and my, would my red herring be able to change between games? Is that something I would be able to know? Like, pretend this is me, the fortune teller, asking you if my red herring can change between games. I would have told you in that role that any token on the outside, the outer ring, is incontrovertible. Those won't change. But any token on the inside of the ring could. So like, I could like have a new red herring. Yes. Okay, so great. I don't know how I'm going to be able to communicate that to anyone else, but I appreciate knowing that. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, I am either the snake charmer, the general, or the recluse. Oh, interesting. Um, I'm just going to drink to that. Cheers. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe play on that and... Maybe become the demon. We'll find out. Well, I didn't find out, sadly. You, you, you will. Boop, doop, boop. I've got this. Great. Totally under control. You're nailing it. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Andrew. I have my Savant info. You came here for Savant info, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see. let's take a look. In the previous time loop, the fortune teller's red herring was a different player. In the previous time loop, two evil players survived. Okay. I mean, what time loop are you talking about? You don't have to play shenanigans with me. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. That's your information. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hey, Kyle. I am on my knees asking the gods for a hint, please. Okay. You pull a fish out of the water, and it tells you that the invocation of the travelers is key to ending this predicament. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank cool. You. Appreciate it. Either die randomly in the day or uh, to some kind of doomsday. Yeah, I mean, it's always possible that if there's a slayer, they could shoot me. Uh, I know you're claiming, sorry, you said poppy grower? Yeah, poppy grower. Yeah. Um, it'd be funny if I died to a slayer shot. Waste of time, yeah, well, of course. But, um, okay. Well, I'd yeah, be comfortable with you doomsday because I think I trust you. I'm the only uh, outsider that probably confirms me quite well. Yeah, if you're the only public outsider. Okay, that makes sense. Hopefully that's All right. Press the doomsayer button. Lovely. Just tag him. <laughs> tag him. Oh, I think he was getting Tyler. Okay. Has somebody doomsayer? Uh, Duke smacks the button of the, of the doomsay. Duke doomsays and Madeline dies. Almost everyone has heard this, but for those who haven't, my fisherman advice is that I should trust my neighbors. I came back from getting that advice, and Bejbo is claiming spy actively, so yeah. he may have registered yeah. his foot uh, to that ability. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think Walter's evil, because I'm, right? I'm still claiming fisherman. Twelve, did you do say sorry? No, uh, I'm just going to claim that uh, I'm going to let everyone know that Alejo and Kev aren't the demon. Alejo okay. and Kev aren't the demon. I will, I I will tell her that? Say. Yes. Okay, Alejo Kev, and Kev. Will, Kev. Kev Kev will doomsay. Kev Kev doomsays and Bejbo dies. Hey, uh, oh, oh man. Can we chat? That looks I'm going to assume or can we chat? Kev is Saranobist because I know that uh, he's good and he is double clicked. Hey. All right. Uh, evil cult leader, fam. What? Uh, nice. Yeah. Uh, fellow evil guys. I'm just kidding. Not really general. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is key to ending this predicament. The invocation of the travelers is key. To oh, ending okay. this predicament. I do not be funny. What have predicament? We only have one day? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, I heard yeah. Say. Oh, can we speak? There are no travelers. But if there were, I think, like, if a traveler... Because, like, remember game one, how there's, like, a... Um, the invocations, and they were bad. Well, not game one, because... What are you talking about? I, I don't game know Game one, two about. weeks ago. I was in my hidden stillery for too long, and I'm drunk. I'm sorry, please ignore me. Le Legacy game one. Two Wait, weeks Tyler, ago. Tyler, can not I do this? 
Harmony. That legend that we heard of that travel. Harmony is Doom said. And. Harmony Doom says, and Wildstar dies. Ugh. Huh. Sorry, Wildstar. Pixie, yeah. Uh, if, yeah. Are you, yeah, claiming, yeah. Are you, are you claiming Pixie? Okay. Yes. I will. Uh, Kev Kev has been executed, and I can confirm that the game is over. Please go to sleep. Oh, no. Let's bring everybody back from the dead. All right. Let's go to Laurent. I'm going to put in chat this time the current game, or if you want to put it in there that the that the rules from the... Yeah, I'll let them know. Okay, thank you. Because it's too long for me to go to everybody every time. So I'm just going to go to Laurent to let them know that the current communications from last night hold true today. Laurent, please pick Hello, a Hello, I, I, I see that I received the demon token. Um... Yes, yeah, so all the instructions from the last night remain the same. We're gonna have to communicate that. Yeah, I'm. I am going to pick myself again because I think Travis is on the fact that. I think Travis might get on the fact that I'm the leak, so I'm gonna pick myself. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate you, you guys too. Oh. Madeline, please play a player and a role. A Harmony cult leader. It is night one of a day that will die in infamy. The rules that I went over with you last night or the previous loop remain the same now. I have heard. Very strange dream. Yep. Thank you so much. Harmony. Hello, Tyler. The Saranovis has made you mad about being the cult leader. Thank you. Thank you so much. Fran, I show you Laurent. Mm hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Wildstar. Hello. Hey, I show you the bounty hunter. Awesome. Thank you. I was coming to tell you, Wildstar, you sleep silently, though somewhat with poor rest, tossing and turning back and forth. You finally settle into a deep sleep, and a nightmare comes to you. A deep and ominous voice beckons to you, telling you that instructions you've received of another time are still relevant to you today. Cool, thanks. Capelli getting very poetic. I like it. You find yourself in the middle of a horrid nightmare, tossing and turning in your sleep. You wake into a start to the sound of a voice beckoning to you. It states that rules that you have received a previous time are still relevant to you today. And I have okay. to inform you that you are evil. Okay. Thank you. Bye, fam. Uh, my brain. It hurt so good, Tyler. <laughs> and chat. <laughs> the rest of your comrades. However, you are quickly woken with a start. You wake with a nightmare. A voice beckoning to you, instructing you that rules you have received of a previous day are still relevant to you now. You uneasily fall back asleep, uncertain of what the next day will bring to you. Can I ask a clarification question? Go ahead. Uh, you just suggested that rules from previous days are still applicable to me. I have a rule from a previous day that if I'm mad about, uh, oh, I don't know the clarification on this. Is it applicable to one day or two days? If you are mad about yeah. there having been any previous days or nights to Got today. It. Okay, thank you. you. That's all This I is day so, one of a day that will die in infamy. Mm -hmm. Got it. Nailed it. Uh, do you need to do anything else? No, I think we got everybody. All right, let's go up. Thank you. Good morning, base camp. You awaken to find that the engineer that you sent to investigate the mysterious clock tower has been impaled upon one of its hands <laughs> above a burgeoning apple tree. Written in his blood is, from his body, is born doom. You have one day to solve the mystery of who killed him. What? We only have one day? Oh my god. Oh, oh, no. I can't, I can't talk to you, Tyler. I'll come out on the fisherman. Um, if anyone else thinks that they're short. evil. Can't talk I'm to you. I have riddles for you all. What time? I am on my knees waving fish around for some info, please. Uh, my advice to you is that ending the day early is to the good team's detriment.
Ending the day early to the good team's detriment. Okay, he's a Viserra Novus. Got it. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Andrew. Hey, can I get some on info? Yeah, man. That seems pretty cool. All right. Your savant info is... A player has misregistered to the Doomsay in a previous loop. Or... The Saranovis has selected the same player each loop to be mad. I don't know what you're talking about with these time loops. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Andrew. I'm mm, socially I'm more suspicious of Laurent right now, but we'll see. Bejbo started the day off with a riddle, which makes me um concerned, but you know, that's Bejbo. Yes. Um did Bejbo give an answer to the riddle? We should find out. Uh yeah, he said it was noon. No, but like based on the uh whatever. Okay, cool. <laughs> um Good to know. Um, yes. <laughs> want to hit the doomsday button? Do we have to go All back? All right. No. Nope. I'm back. You know. I want to. So, uh, can I doomsday? Okay. Uh, and if Madeline. so, I will. All right. Madeline doomsays and Fran dies. Cool. Oh. <laughs> what are you, Fran? I am uh, doomsaying as well. Wildstar doomsays and. Harmony dies. So, for what it's worth, I don't think. Doof is called to form a cult. Hello, everybody. It is I, your one cult leader. Um, this cult is based off liquor, spirits, and just good old times. So, let us have the good times and forget about our troubles and live in peace. All right. We will start the I... cult. With Madeline, it'll take all good players voting on this to form. A... Yeah, why don't we have more people voting? That's you didn't vote. You can't say that. Well, <laughs> I I'm not voting on Colt right now because I'm not voting on the first day. Colt has not. Just, we have voting. like six minutes or whatever. Uh, yeah, you actually have. Uh, you have three minutes. Oh, I would like to do a second. Is that Alejo? Yes, Alejo Doom says. Alejo Doom says, and Wildstar dies. Uh, Travis like the Doom say. Travis Doom says, and Kev Kev dies. Wait, did Alejo just kill Wildstar? What just happened? Yes, Alejo killed Wildstar. Travis killed. Oh, it's you. okay that I died. I'm the fish. Thank you, Trollhoff. I'm the fisherman. I just got my info. Um, I, I think there's a Serenovus out there, but my info is ending the day early is to the good team's detriment. So if you're mad and you're the Serenovus, just keep your Serenovus. If you are the Serenovus, keep your Serenovus. Yeah, if you, you are, are mad, like, oh sorry, if you're mad from the Serenovus, yeah, we sorry. Got, we got what he meant. Um, <laughs> okay, not waste well, time on that. Time? What? Any more Doom say? You have two minutes. Wait, Wildstar, did you see a Bounty me? Hunter? I saw Bounty Hunter, yeah. Bro, why don't you doomsay? Literally anyone could die. All right, I doomsay. Bejbo doomsays, and Alejo dies, and Andrew dies. What? Oh, <laughs> God, oh, my. Uh, what? Amazing. Alejo, what Alejo are you one is the lead. Alejo, Alejo is the yeah, I'm not sure if I claimed it publicly before, but I am the tanker, so... Oh, my oh, God. Okay. Oh, I'm so Leho is confirmed, then, the unless Sarah dead knows. pixie, and I unless... saw that hunter. Unless... I can't be the leech host because I'm dead. Um, um, you can't be the leech host. Could be drunk. I could have had spy register to me. We have five. Oh, that's we have so six mean. left. Uh, I love that what happened. happened. Based well, on why, why do we... Why do we that, have that, a leech? That could be about to... have one minute. Based on we don't have claims for, I would like to see either Madeline or Laurent uh, Doomsay. Well, I am the snake it. charmer. I, I want Madeline oh, to Doomsay. I, did I, I would very much like Laurent to Doomsay. And Travis, I, I want you to Doomsay. Well, what if I don't did. want to? Oh, you killed Madeline? me? Yeah, Madeline? Madeline? Yeah, you're dead, man. Yeah, I already did that. Yeah. So we well, want Laurent to Doomsay. 
Oh, Duke, yeah, can I have you do I, say? I, I don't uh, I'll like do say. It. Duke smacks the button again. Why? Why are you being weird, Sora? Duke Doom says, and Madeline dies. Cool. Oh, okay. If Duke is a cult leader, it makes sense that he uh, he kills his neighbor, right? Yeah. 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 Which is why I'm worried that Madeline Duke would be evil, but then I don't know. Like, 15 what is... seconds. I'm glad we I'm didn't the cult leader. Uh, we should put somebody on the block. Of... For the record, am good boy. I need your attention. I need to speak to all the dead players in the cave's mouth. This is my first time here. Hello. As the dead Hello. players, you are now able to read the text on the piece of vellum removed from a corpse's hands. Would you like to invoke the traveler? I'm going to go yeah. down the. Oh um, my god, we should do like it. We should do it, and we should murder them for fun. I don't know what that <laughs> means, but let's what? go for it. Okay. We should, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to ask yes or no. Alejo? No. Andrew? Yes. Fran? Yes. Harmony? Yes. Kev Kev? Yes. Madeline? Yes. Wildstar? Yes. We found ourselves surrounded and beset by our fellow pilgrims. We had come to see the garden, and they had bathed in its earthly delights. They stalked us, and they never tired, empowered by their vices and fueled by their hunger. It was Gideon, the great judge, who saw that we must not just cleanse ourselves, but this place of its apostasy. His was a terrible wisdom, full of command, but in this timeless void, it was not enough. Uh, I'm trying to see who was first to die. Was it Fran? Uh Yes. Fran. All right. Fran, you are the judge. Ooh. Oh, boy. Have fun, Fran. All right. Let's go fun. on. Up. You have Good all. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Travis is executed and dies. Everybody, the game is over. Please go to sleep. Oh, What did Travis say? I was just informed that he... Oh, he said, um... I'm alive again. But you can't You can't come back to life. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Okay. All right. Let's, uh... Speaking of that, let's bring everybody back from the dead. And Fran is the bounty hunter once again. Didn't even get to do any judgments. Just so you know, and chat will get to know now, the next invocation of the Traveler is the Traveler that ends this state of time loop. But currently the rules are still in place that if they were to break, if they are mad about a previous day or night, they may be executed and die. So let's go ask Laurent, who probably got to poison himself again. Laurent. Please. Oh my god, this I is night yeah, one. The leech. Wow. I know, it's crazy. Night one of a day that will die crazy. in the Crazy. I wouldn't have wouldn't have guessed. Um It seems like you've been the leech a lot lately. Who would you like to have yeah, as your host? I, I've been I've been a sucker quite a lot. Um <laughs> shouldn't have said that. Um <laughs> it's late. Um I've drank a bit. Um what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm going to pick a player. I yeah. really want to pick myself because I really think it's funny. Okay. And I like that. Uh, but do I do that? Okay, wait. If I pick a poppy grower, would evil learn each other? Poppy grower goes on, uh, goes before all poisons and okay. things. So. I'm still going to go with the weird strategy that's been working. I'm going to pick myself. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Madeline. Yes. Would you like to pick a player to be mad about a certain role? I would like to choose Harmony as cult leader. Let's go. This with that. is night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there being a previous day or night, you may be executed. Thank you. Thanks. Harmony. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Harmony. I have news. Um, this may surprise you. It being night one of the game, you have been made mad about being the cult leader. Oh, no, that's okay. If you Thank are mad you. about there being a previous day or night, you may be executed. Yep, okay. Okay, thank you. 
Hold in. Hey, Fran. You are evil. Nice. This is night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there being a previous day or night, you may be executed. I show you... I show you Kohoff. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Thank you so much. Duke. Hello. You are evil. Neat. This is night one of a day that will die in infamy. If you are mad about there being a previous day or night, you may be executed. Nice. Sounds good. Thank you. Hey, Wildstar. Wildstar. All right, Wildstar, you are shown the cult leader. It's a good question whether or not the evil team knows each other. Laurent's playing an interesting game. It's not a bad game, so uh, it's interesting. Yeah, so the Saranovis picking the same has Saranovis locked another player, which is which is pretty interesting. But I guess it hides the fact that by luck of the draw, that the snitch can't come out and say anything about being a snitch. Yeah, pixie token off a of Fran. Good call. All right. Hey Capelli, have we have we told everybody there? Wildstar is having substantial technological issues, so hopefully she knows that the rules still apply. You hear a soft voice whispering to you throughout your tent. With a start, you wake and look around your tent to see no figure in the tent with you. You call out to it, and it reaches out to you, instructing you that if you are mad about any of these previous visions you have had of the current date, you may be executed and die. Rather than a loud voice, rather than a threatening, ominous tone, which you would come to expect, you feel a soft warmth to this and a reassurance that this is a friendly warning. Thank you. To heed its advice. Good morning, base camp. You've awakened to find that your engineer, who was exploring the mysterious tower on the Ravenswood Bluff, has been impaled upon one of its clock, clock hands uh, right above a pear tree. You have one day to solve the mystery of who killed this engineer. Uh, God, can I talk to you? We uh, have full limit. Lady. Hello, I'm on my knees with a fish. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, Good has the ability to make this the final day. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. He's going to break madness. I know it. That's one of the things about the way we're running Savant and we're running Fisherman. They're getting information about the time loop, so they have to find a way to couch that information in a way that doesn't break madness. That's part of the task. They're getting a lot of valuable stuff. They just got to know how to use it. Andrew. Hey. Hey, hey. So, uh, info. At least one of the players who broke madness in a previous time loop was evil. Or... Mm -hmm. The same player has been made the leech host on three consecutive loops. Cool. Thank you. So, so Tyler, to recap for chat, I've just told Alejo I'm a I'm a military man. I started out in Austin, Texas, uh, deployed out to the Solomon Islands. From there, I went to uh, Paris, then to Fiji, then New Delhi. And now I live in Boston. And that's all I've got to say. Kev, Kev, has hit the doomsday button. Okay, let's go on up. All right, in a minute, in a minute, Capelli. I don't mean to rush, but just, I, I want to be the first. Kev, Kev, doom says, and Andrew dies. I hope someone is taking note of Wild doom. Uh, Kev? Can Duke talk to Fran? Yeah, mm -hmm. Madeline, can we talk real fast? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Um, does anyone want to chat? Wildstar has pressed the doomsday button. Wildstar, uh -huh. doom says. And boop, 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 boop. Harmony dies. Uh, I would like to doomsday. Alejo, doom says. And uh -huh. Travis dies. Ooh, fine. Um, oh, fine. Wait, who, who doomsday for me today? I think Wild it was Kev Kev. Star? No, Travis. No, Kev Kev. Who killed Travis? 
Uh, Alejo. Uh, Wait, Bones, uh, Alejo. did you say my name? No. I All right. Think later. Yeah. Uh, Travis. Yeah. Um. Alejo Chochu, sure. Duke would like to form a cult when possible. Duke, you look to form a cult. Tell us why. Yep. Uh. So, hello, everyone. It is I, Duke, your one and only cult leader. This cult is based off kittens and puppies and our lord and savior, the flying spaghetti monster. Please join as I wish to ascend us all into happiness. That is all. Voting will begin with battle and takes all good players to form a cult. Oh. I beg no, everyone listening to oh, no. I, I, I want to be confirmed. I want to be confirmed. Please. 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 Oh, Kev, Please. No. Come on, Kev, Kev. I want it to be confirmed as good. But yeah. I can confirm that a cult has not been formed. All right. One of Kev. I want to exile uh, Kev, Kev. Uh, Kev. 30 seconds. Kelly and Tyler. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Bash, would you have a claim? I'll doomsay. Kohav is doomsay. I'm the spy. Kohav doomsays and Duke dies. Oh. <laughs> was what that was Kohav? That? Alejo, what are you trying to do? I killed say? Duke. Uh, no, I've already done so. I think the evil team yeah. is Madeline, Fran, Nine. and Vegbo. Eight. I, I think seven. I agree. Six. All right, Vegbo's not the demon. Five. Alejo, no, Vegbo's not the demon. Alejo, oh. hello. Please tell us why. Uh, I'm socially reading Laurent as evil from uh, various things, um, and probably not the demon. But could be the demon, and if we don't have a better kill, we might as well go for it. Laurent, what's your defense? Yeah, I know. I'm the lead. Find a host. Bye. Voting will start with <laughs> oh, Alejo. God. It'll take four to for put Laurent on the block. Anything Laurent says is true. Drew, I think you should maybe add Laurent to that list. Yeah, no, I, I, Laurent I, I, has I to be evil. I don't no, want I, uh, to do it. <laughs> I'm I'm good. just making a joke. I am not evil. Well, um, can you Laurent? doomsay, Laurent? Would you mind doomsay? I nominate Fran. No, I won't doomsay. Wildstar has nominated Fran. What's your accusation? I have a better idea. Uh, Laurent is a bad idea. So this one's fine. All right, Fran, what's your defense? Um, yep, I am good. I'm the chef of the four, which I don't believe. I think I could be poisoned and will leech host. Um, I'm not opposed to this kill. Don't know if it's the best one out there, but I don't have any other options. Go for it. All right. Voting will begin with Kev Kev. Reminder, you get one execution in a given day. Uh, we'll start with Kev Kev. It'll take four to put Fran on the block. That reminder makes you feel like it isn't... There's people uh, that haven't do said. There's, thing, there's things that... I just All give right. people the opportunity to do what they need to do. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, yeah, this. Oh, I think this boy. is it. No, Fran, keep it up. <laughs> uh, that's double doomsday. Keep it down. Four, I don't one, feel go. like voting on anything and, else. Wait, who doomsays? I doomsay. Bejbo doomsays. Bejbo doomsays. And Wildstar dies. And Alejo uh, dies. I want Laurent or Fran to yes, do um, um, Nine. Laurent eight. nominates Bejbo. Laurent nominates Bejbo. Please tell us why. I I agree very much with what Andrew was saying about the evil team being Madeline, Duke, and Bejbo. I think we should dig more into that. What if the leech picked a minion as the host? I need to do some, some house cleaning real quick on something. Sorry. Just to, so everybody knows what the state of play is. Fran is on the block. Okay. Uh, Laurent, sorry. Bejbo, yep, what's your defense? Yeah, was all. I think oh. they'll each pick a minion, the host. Yeah. I'm a military man. I started out in Austin, Texas, deployed out to the Solomon Islands. From there, I went to Paris, and then to Fiji, then to New Delhi, and now I live in Boston. That's all I got to say. I'm so confused. Voting will claiming... not on the set. Yeah, I suppose claiming general, that's a double claim with Madeline who I also tase you. Yeah. Voting will commence with Andrew. That's a general. Take four to tie, five to beat. No, I don't think we want to vote for Bespa, though. 
This is uh, I, I think we should. Ellen, who's winning? You Laura, oh, I was going to say, you think we should, but you didn't even oh. vote. Wait, no, Bashba, we, what we are you should. doing? Well, three is not enough. No, Bashba is safe from execution today. That's fine. Let's execute, Fran. Do we have any other that's nominations fine. or doomsays? Nah, let's, let's go with it and see what happens. Yeah, yeah I think um, it's good. Capelli, can we chat real quick? I think more people should doomsay. Who didn't doomsay? Have you doomsay? Like, I, I, chat real no, quick. I haven't, Aleha? but I don't want to. No, let's not have but more. Then you. Uh, would you two inform me if my alignment changed? Would I have informed you if your alignment changed? Yes. All right. Thank you. Fran has nominated Kev Kev. Why? Um, so I'm the actual fisherman. Uh, my advice was. Um, <laughs> Don't die. Also, Kev's in the double claim. Oh. Kev, Kev, what's your okay, let's go. The fisherman advice was um, don't die. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh I'm the actual God. fisherman. It looks like people are panicking to keep Fran alive. I say we kill Fran and you just kill me tomorrow. All right. Uh, As a reminder, this game, is a one-day no game. game. Oh. I in Maybe. that case, I think I'm just going to trust I really it. think Fran is the demon. This entire situation is sketchy. Yeah, but what if, yeah, what if Fran is the leech up. and picked a minion as the host? Voting will start with... No, I am the leech. You're double claiming me. It'll take four to tie, five to beat. Um, yep, so I was actually the starting Zomble. Um, my buffs are Savant, Pixie, and Fortune Teller. One is not enough. Uh-oh. I don't know what you're doing. Four. Three. <laughs> I don't okay. understand Fran. One. Fran is executed, and they die, and I can confirm that the game is over. Please go to sleep. So, let's go, so how did they win this? Today the last day that you got us a chance to win this? We are going to reveal the Archon, whether they want it or not, whether they invoke it or not. And uh, it'll be Fran who is the Archon once Fran dies. Or we can have Fran come back immediately as the Archon uh, because they were the judge. Okay. I was I was going to, in my whisper, to tell people that the madness rule still applies, to hint that this is the final chance that good team has. Okay. Do you want me to do that or do you want me to not do that? When the Archon appears, they sense that the time loop has ended and this is the actual final day. Uh, or the final iteration of the time loop, they still have one day to make the kill. They get one execution. We were toying around with madness. I would say the madness still stays in effect, but yes, this is the this will be the final iteration of the loop. If you want to hint that into your dialogue, then okay. please go for it. Uh, do you want me to hint that madness might end midday, or I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave that to you. I'll just leave that to you. Today. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Laurent. I'm a sucker for you. Okay. It is night. You are the leech. Please pick a host. Oh my god! Who are my minions? What are my bluffs? You don't. Okay. Uh, your bluffs are fortune teller, preacher, general. Who would you like to have as your host? Um. Oh my god! I think someone, someone has to have figured it out at this point. Hmm. They're not. They're not going to get fooled by me picking myself, aren't they? Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? I I am picking Laurent. You're picking Laurent. I think Laurent is a good choice. I'm betting on Laurent. Betting on, good betting luck. on Laurent. Thank you so much. Bet yeah, on, good luck. Red. Gotcha. Yeah, good luck good. to Laurent. I hope you wish him good luck. Yes. Madeline. Hi. Sorry. Last, laughing about house hunters. Uh, it makes sense. Uh, they spend a lot of money. They're always talking about their starter homes, but they're incredibly expensive houses. So I don't know what they if they know what starter homes mean. Please pick a player and a role. It is night one of a day that will die in infamy. I'm thinking Harmony as cult leader. Thank you. Harmony. Hello, Tyler. Hey, Harmony. The Saranovas has made you mad about being the cult leader. Okay, thank you. This is you. night one of a day that will die in infamy. Thank you. 
Hi, Capelli. Hello, Harmony. You do not wake in the middle of the night, for rest never comes to you. You oh. turn toss back and forth, trying to get some semblance of rest, but these echoes of previous days resound in your mind. In the corner of your mind, you hear two voices call out to you. Do you give credence to the voice of mercy or to the voice of vengeance? Uh, Wildstar. Hello. How you doing? All right. I wake you up and I show you the fisherman. Okay, cool. Thank you. Fran? Hello. You are evil. I wake you up and I show you Laurent. Duke. Oh. You are evil. Why? This is night one of a day that will die in infamy. Cool. Thank you. Mm Mm-hmm. I love my life (laughs) as a cult leader. Let's go. go. You're going to get it this time. I'm, I'm almost positive. Okay. Let, let's see what Capelli's telling him. The voice of mercy or to the voice of vengeance. I, I'm going to go to voice of vengeance. Of the two voices you've heard before, you, be, you bend your ear to the loud and ominous voice, beckoning you on, cheering for your escapades in conquest. Today is the final day. <gasps> Maintain your madness, and you will find glory in the afterlife. This is the final day. Oh my god, we've made it. Oh my god, we've made it. Victory? Echoing visions of these days playing over and over in your mind and keep you wide awake. In the middle of the night, however, you do hear these two voices reach out to you. Do you give credence to the voice of mercy or to the voice of vengeance? Whoa. Um, mercy. You push away the loud voice to the small, peaceful voice, giving somewhat of a sickening feeling to you. You desire to hear what it has to say. This voice calls out to you, beckoning you to please change your mind. Please give mercy. You feel no reason to do this, and you smirk evilly, knowing what this thing is asking you to do. You have a feeling that today is the last day, and that you must maintain your madness ever still. Well, if I break madness, then we just go to sleep and I win, so I don't really care, right? You might be executed and die, that is true. Yeah. So it's, I, I haven't been able to tell the other evil players this, but when we're talking privately as evil, we don't have to care about the madness. That's pretty true, we'll see. So the way the things stand, I think, I think the good team has a lot of information about who is on the evil team. They have less information about where to target, but they've got the Slayer shot. They've got more fisherman information to come. They've got savant information that they can string together. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an intense finale, I think. Stay tuned. I hope you guys have been joining. It. I haven't been following chat like I do normally, so sorry about that. If Bejbo slays Laurent, it depends on how many players are left, because then it would go to Kohav. But yeah, that could make Laurent very vulnerable. It's interesting. Nobody's even claimed a Slayer shot, right? Uh, yeah. Not even Bejbo. Bejbo hasn't fired a shot yet. Very interesting. He is he is biding his time. It's a very interesting play. It's interesting in that he could have gotten information in each loop. I declare Slayer. I shoot, at this point, five people. And he could have walked away knowing these five people aren't the demon, or they weren't the host, Right? So Laurent's play of being his own host is very, very interesting. Very interesting. So we're going to play with that a little bit. Yeah, they have yet to kill the demon. And that might be my savant, part of my savant info. That might be very powerful savant info. We're going to find out. Voice of Vengeance. You push away that small, pathetic sound that has tried to talk to you before and listen to the powerful voice that beckons you onward. Today is the final day. Distract them, and you will receive glory in the afterlife. Got it. Let's maintain this. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Thank you. 
Therefore, you can never wake up in the middle of the night to hear these two voices calling out to you. Between them and between the echoes and the memories of this day playing over and over, you find it hard to focus. But these voices will not leave you be until you listen to one of them. Do you give credence to the voice of vengeance or to the voice of mercy? Oh, I have to choose. Hmm. I, I will listen to the voice of mercy. You push away the loud and ominous voice that has penetrated your mind once before and listen in to the voice that has given you some small comfort in this questionable time. It beckons out to you, telling you today is the final day. Be strong and persevere. You can do it, but you must maintain the madness ever still. Gotcha. All right, that's it, right? Yeah, we got them all. You got them all, boss. You ready to go? All right. Good morning, base camp. You've awakened to find that the engineer that you sent to investigate the mysterious clock tower has been impaled on one of its clock hands. His blood is spelt out, in his blood is spelt out the words, from his body is born doom. He hangs above a cherry tree. You have one day to... Wild Star Travis, let's yeah, go. Oh, in three please. minutes. Hey, can I get some info? Can. Uh, your savant info is, is that the demon has died in one in, at least one previous loop. Mm -hmm. Or the demon has never died in any previous loop. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm the lead. I have chosen Duke today. I'm going to trust you. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, I'm the snake charmer. Um, do you want to know how I pick? Hey, Kev, Kev. Hello, God. I'm here for fish. Um, let's see. Your advice today. Somebody called? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm, he's, he's getting fisherman advice now. Um, your advice today is that uh, both of your neighbors have lied in previous loops. Am I allowed to mention that, given that I can't mention previous loops? You would have like you to. You just answered your own question there, pal. You would have to find a way to um, contextualize that without breaking madness. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We're gonna thank try you. and we're gonna try and lure the little ones into a trap. Would you join a cult, Tyler, based off of barbecue with vegan options and peacefulness? Those and sound, the beach. And the and be beer. And the beach. Oh, as Doom said. Who, oh, who okay, did? okay. Okay. Oh, let was remove one, I don't think. So I think I'm quite well confirmed. Harmony, are you still sticking with... Sorry. Aleo I... has Doom said and... Travis has died. Oh, um, no. I'm the fortune oh, runner. No. I checked Travis and Wildstar, but I've talked to both of them, and I have a good social read from both of them, so I don't necessarily think that my info is accurate. You you have a red herring. I hit a red herring. Because, um, yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm oh, your cult I leader. You? Duke would like to make a cult form today. Let's go. Uh, my cult is made up and consists of barbecues, beaches, and beer, and nothing but good times and peace amongst all worlds. That is all. I, uh, I hope everyone one. and their mother joins this cult. We're voting on a cult now? Thank you. This cult of peace. Take all good players. Travis. 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 Bad idea. This is this is th this is a good idea. I really think oh, it's a good God. idea. I I agree with this. It's too many. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm good. The body um, of Fran is possessed by the Archon. I have the following things to tell you. What? What's what? What's going on? Doomsday. In state and alignment. One of the spirits 
Mesopheles took pity upon us and spoke a secret word of power to Gideon. With this knowledge brought time to the garden in the form of a tower which held a machine of arcane design. In the day, the world of flesh would preside and we could build our defenses, while at night the spirits of pandemonium could roam. This gave us some rest and allowed us to execute the worst transgressors against the pilgrims. Gideon was gifted the Archon's crown from his spirit familiar, Mesopheles, amplifying his wisdom and gifting him power in both realms. When he died, we buried him with the Archon's crown, sealing his crypt with wards, as none of us were worthy of succeeding him. In this interregnum, the garden began to die, and we with it, the victims of the great hunter we had let loose, time. The time loop has closed. You are no longer mad about there being a time loop. A cult has formed, and I can well, confirm that the evil team has won. Uh, test, test. <laughs> Five times. Hey! <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay. Voted on that. Oh, I have okay. the one except so for funny. Duke's neighbors that I was confident about. Can I just say, this is so funny. All right. I need a recap. Oh, does okay. Duke get a reward for getting a cult win? Um... Yep, he will. Let's see. Uh, Laurent was your leech who poisoned first uh, Kohav, his Scarlet Woman, um, because the evil team did not know who each other were. Um, po he uh, chose Kohav as his host, and then on each subsequent loop, Laurent chose himself as his own host. <laughs> he was never executed. He was never targeted by the Slayer. Uh, Alejo was Whoa. your tinker. <laughs> Um, who died as to mirror a uh, at one point to mirror a uh, leech kill. Travis was your poppy grower who made it difficult for the evil team to align initially. Fran was your evil bounty hunter who was shown Kohav, was shown Madeline, was shown Laurent, was made the judge, and finally was made the evil archon. Kevin was your fisherman who was given many days of advice. Wildstar was your pixie who was shown the savant, then was shown. Help, help remind me because I forget. Sometimes. Fisherman, bounty hunter. Bounty hunter, yeah. Um, um and cult leader. Cult leader. And then, on the and, then I don't know what she just. Fisherman saw. again, right? Mm -hmm. oh, I was guessing. Wildstar's Wildstar's not talking, so must be salty with me. Uh, Bejbo was the slayer. I saw fisherman. Okay. Uh, salty, like I said. Bisbo was your slayer who never attempted a slayer shot. Uh, Andrew was um. your savant who got a lot of a lot of savant information that would have been once the madness broke, uh, probably would have helped piece things together a little bit. Harmony was your snitch, made mad every single time loop about being what Harmony? The cult leader. Yeah. Uh, Wait, we had a Sarah. He told me in like the third iteration. <laughs> Yeah, I, I had Harmony Rasta. a snitch because I was like, Duke's definitely the cult leader. Koav was your <laughs> Scarlet Woman who has never made the demon. Duke was your cult leader with the Sarah Novus and Koav the Scarlet Woman on either side of him. Madeline was your Sarah Novus. That was your game of a day that will die in infamy. Your bluffs were fortune teller, preacher, general for the demon. I don't remember what they all were for the minions. There was some overlap. Well, general and fortune teller for sure. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, I got fortune teller, chef, and pacifist. pacifist. Um, I got. I gave Fran chef. Nice. But I also know preacher wasn't in play because of the preacher legion jinx. So I got four bluffs. Someone in chat says it's a shame we did all that setup for just a two minute game. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Dude. who's up for Speed TB? Such a short game. Yeah, we got so much time left. So I, much. I thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit of a oh, fun. It was a little bit of a labyrinthine puzzle, but that is the Everyone end of Act One. What was it, what it, was the conditions to like end the game? I the like missed that. The conditions were given to Kev Kev the fisherman that it was involved the invocation of the travelers. So the invocation of the Archon was the condition to. Uh, trigger the end of the time loop because we had gone through so many time loops we determined that we were just going to invoke it and then once the cult was founded we weren't going to go into another loop so we called it there capelli went through and he he did allude that this would be the final loop one way or another 
the Sorry. evil team got told that this was the last loop. Yeah. Everybody, everybody got told. Just, oh, okay. just, well, I, I, yeah, I, got, I got to choose something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think all I did too. Got to choose. Oh, okay. I, I felt special. Uh, I but felt special you're too. Not. <laughs> Fran told me he you were, got... You're all special. I, I mean, I don't have to tell you this. You're 12 of the most special people to us in the world. So thank you so much. Well, 11. Of well, what? I, I'm just curious. What would have happened if evil would have lost once or I think like, all the evil players died on the first day whoa 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 whoa, whoa. Mm, no this is a legacy game you guys have played your past wow. that, that's i don't a, know that's an interesting I'm... question for andrew's podcast what's the name of your podcast just... andrew what legacy <laughs> Legacy on legacy the clock on tower, which, the makes, clock tower. <laughs> which makes perfect sense. It is legacy on the clock tower. I have a question. I was always I alive in Final Five. What happened to all the people who were dead? Ah, uh, I recommend you go back and watch them because there is like some stuff that Tyler read off. But it was basically they had they went down and got to the side if they wished to invoke the traveler or not. Everyone should rewatch this. A lot of stuff is going on. Oh, yeah. I want to rewatch the chat. I want to rewatch this. Uh, but today is the final game of Act One in a three act mm. story. It's gone down and send chat on to the night. Say goodnight to chat, folks. I know that was a pretty intense game. It was an intense game to run. I'm sure it was an intense game for the players. It would be interesting if you if people chart off from loop to loop. The doomsday chains because i think they were pretty extensive if you connect all the dots so and we get a cult win out of it so i wonder what that has in store for our little town of ravenswood bluff stay tuned for the first episode of act two to see what our little town turns into capelli thank you so much for your help running that and your awesome narrative text oh it's so easy when you make it so fun oh oh He's getting me. He's getting my my blood burning. So I appreciate it. And until we meet again, chat. All I can say is you were lovely, and I hope you enjoyed it. And we bid you adieu.